Hello again guys, welcome back to another video about Fire Studio. So today I um, will be showing you how to create a pop-up menu which the part of Fire Soul. Um full begin. You just input your volume um full begin. Um, I just want to say thank you for six thousand YouTube zombie subscribers. You all be this possible. Um thank you a lot. Okay, so let's have a preview of what this will look like when we're done. Okay, so here you can this our menu as you can see the small transition uh what we can play. There we go. Okay, click on this close, this pops out, no. Close, no, close, no, same with um the yes, close the yes comes back to the menu, quit, here we go, you should, okay, so I'll be showing you how to do that today, so click on minimize, so we can develop 5, so before we begin, um, I just want to let you know that this is develop uh, 89, presently the latest version was it was released um, three days ago. Okay, so it has a lot of features. If you haven't updated yours, I would recommend you update it. And also, um, I also um, recommend you leave this check, go through download and install updates recommended um, by Chilval. And I also recommend it for you. Okay, so close, create a new project. So we will be using the platform. Um, example for this. Okay, so here we go. Um, this is um, this would be our game. So, uh, we will be using three. Um, okay, let's just have a preview of this. So we will be using th um three methods of creating this. We'll be using a force, we'll be using a trim behavior and also a sign movement. So as you can see this was the sign movement of play. Here we go, that's the sign movement. This is the force. No. Yes. And this is the twin behavior here we go this is the twin behavior so i will be showing you how to create that now close um minimize let's come back to default now let's create a new scene add a new scene um the name menu okay so we'll move that up Okay, so now let's open our scene up, which will be our menu, um, scene properties, let's set a background color. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now let's add in some objects. We need to add in a panel, add a new object, sprites, um, add an animation, add Okay, so let's get a board, which would be a panel. Now we name that panel and apply. Add a new object, let's get a play button, add an animation, add, here we go, play, apply. Um, add a new object, let's get a quit button, um, quit, add an animation, add, there we go, quit, and apply. So now we need to give this um, a sign behavior, so you can find that in the project manager functions and behavior where you have to search for a new extension and you will see sign on behavior. There we go. You have to search for your extension and you will see sign behavior. 
have to click on it and install it. So do we this so this is our sign of sign movement. Now close that um panel, edit object behaviors, add a behavior, um scroll to the bottom, add the sign movement behavior on the X zero and on the Y five hundred. Apply to the same way apply edit object behaviors. Add behavior, scroll to the bottom, sign movement, x. So we're changing the x to zero, so you can see zero to deactivate because we're using the y um, axis for this. If you're using the x axis, you just set the y axis to zero and set this to the x axis to 500. But since we're using the y axis, we will have to set the x axis to zero. And apply. Okay, behaviors, add behavior, scroll to the bottom, sign movement, x0, y, 500, and apply. So let's position this in our screen. Um, x position 279, and the y position minus. Three, three, seven. So if you don't want um uh, your screen, so if you don't want your screen to look messed up, I will advise you um use your events you create in this object at these positions. But for those who are new, or for the sake of those who are new in Java, right, I will have to create this on the screen this way. So play okay, um. Exposition 344, Y position minus uh, 266. Put in your quit, just go up. Okay, so quit exposition 344, Y position minus 52. Okay, minus 150, 152, okay, so there we go, now let's go to our events, um, add new group, I'll just name this sign, sign movements, add a subcondition, add a condition, Position. Here we go. Compare the Y position of an object. The Y position of the panel in Simon Fest is greater than 120. We activate. So we're starting from this event because by default the sign um, behavior. Um, the sign movement step automatically, so we can't. This um there is actually no way of using the at the beginning of the scene um activate the sign behavior. So rather when when the white position of panel is greater than 120, add an action, activate, activate a behavior, activate panel behavior, um no, okay. Add an action, activate, activate a behavior, activate the quit behavior, no, um, activate, we go, activate a behavior, activate the play, um, sign movement behavior, no. Also, add condition trigger ones. Okay, now add an empty event. You know, add a condition. Um, so now let's add an event. So, um, so once the play button is clicked on, it um, fix our whole panel up 
full change into the game scene. So to do that, cursor the touch is on an object, cursor touch is on play and release mouse button was released which is a left mouse sorry about that which is a left mouse button okay so left mouse button was released other condition trigger once so trigger once and add an action activate activate a behavior on panel yes activate the sign movement behavior panel yes add an action activate the behavior activate the play the sign movement will play yes add an action activate activate a behavior quit on play of the quit object the sign the movement yes Okay, so now we need a scene variable. Value for scene variable. Just create a scene variable, add a scene variable. Variable up. Apply. Variable up. Modification sign. Scene value. One. Okay, so let's preview. Here we go, as you can see, a badges came down like the click on play, it goes back up. So um that's it. Now let's create let's do one for quit, close that, add an empty event, add a condition. So a touch is on an object, so touch is on quit. Okay, so touch is on quit and action release mouse button release arm left. Okay, so left mouse button was released at a condition trigger once while true. Okay. Now add an action, activate, activate a behavior panel, yes, add an action, um, activate the behavior on play, yes, add an action, activate A behavior on quit, yes, and also sync variable value for sync variable up modification sign set to value 2. Okay, so preview. So here we go, um, quit, it goes back up, so the quit and the play um, works. Now let's add an event to change to the scene once this whole um, dialog is up or the whole menu goes up. So add an empty event, add a condition, scene variable, so this is why we use a scene variable, but a scene variable up. Time of first equals the values compare one. Okay, so the same variable of is equals to one at a condition position compare the y position of an object, y position of panel is um, less than values compare minus 337. Okay. Also, add a condition trigger once. Add an action change. So 
come out and we change the scene um, to new scene which is our scene of our platformer so preview so here we go um quit that works and also play now here we go so it changes to the city because of this event which is the scene variable pop is equal to one and the y position of panel is less than minus 337 on the y position and the y axis okay so now let's go to our new scene events well new scene um we need to add in some objects add a new object so in this rule i will be showing you how to do this using a force so let's add some objects add a new object we need to add um a cross so here we go which will be our close game we'll name that cross apply add a new object we need to add a sprite Add an, add an animation, add panel, which will be the board. Name that panel. Apply. Add a new object. Oh, we need to create the text. Exit to main menu. Name this. Exit underscore text. Exit text in bold. Apply. Add a new object. Sprite of add animation. Add the yes. Apply. Add a new object, sprite, add an animation, add uh, the no. Here we go. No. In that no. Okay, so let's position all of this on our screen. Um, cross. Just position this. Let's x position of 735 the y position of 5 our panel our position is on the x position x position of 243 and 612 Exit text exposition 310 Y position 645 on um, layer GUI it's supposed to be on the GUI layer so it's always the screen GUI also add in the yes layer GUI exposition of yes 310 and Y position 711. Oh, um, yeah. So we need to know X position 310, Y position 815. Okay, layer GY. So um, Notes, I have taken my time to position this properly. So, if you're using a different screen size, um, you would have to use you would have to go take your time and measure how you want it to look like. So, this is 800 and 600. So, I think I divided the screen and positioned this properly. So, in case you're using a different screen um, size, you would have to use a different events or your event values will have to be higher than the event values are used here.
let's go on new let's go to our events new see events add a new group group name of force now add a, add a sub condition add a condition also a touch is on the object because the touch is on cross okay and left mouse button was released mouse button released on left okay so let's go back to a new scene now we need to group this object we can open the groups editor, clear these, add a new group, and rename this to exit. Edit group um, added object, we need to add our yes, no, exit text, and panel. Apply. Now let's go back to our event. Add an action of um, force. Add a force to exit, which is the group on the x axis 0, when we're using the x axis, y axis minus 500 permanent force. So we're using the minus 500 so it brings it up. Now add an empty event, add a condition of uh, position, the y position of the panel. So the first is less than minus compared to 100. When this is less than 200, add a condition, three the ones. So using this event to stop um, the movement of the panel. Once it reaches a certain position, stop. Stop the object, stop the object, exit, which is a group. Okay. So once the panel is less than 200, it will stop exit and remove all forces on exit preview. So there we go, cross, as you can see, pops up and it stops because the white, it has reached the white position, which is less than 200. So close that. Now let's add in an event. Or to move it downwards once no is pressed. So add an empty event, add a condition, cursor or touch is on an object, cursor touch is on no. Okay, so cursor touch is on no, add a condition, released, mouse button released, left. Okay, so the left mouse button was released, added an action, force, add a force, which is a permanent force to exit, x0, y, 500, permanent force, okay, to add exit to permanent force of 0 on the x axis and 500 on the y axis, and an empty event. So we also need an event to stop this. So position the y position of an object, the y position of panel is greater than 612. Read the ones.
We go on spawn tree. Okay, now any action. Stop. Stop the object. Exit. Okay, here's stop the object. Exit. Now let's preview. Let's make our yes key useful. Add an empty effect. Add a condition. Position. The Y position of an object. The Y position of yes. Sign of test is. Um, sorry, not the Y position. Sorry about that. Cursor. A touch is on an object. Who's a touch? Is on yes. Okay, and released. Mouse button released. Um, left. So here we go. So because a touch is on yes, this mouse button was released. Add an action. Change to scene. Change to the scene menu. Okay, previews. So here we go. Close. It pops up. No, it goes back down. Close. And yes, changes to the menu. So closes. Um, now let's add in an event. So it just it passes the scene, which is everything. So just to make our project better, um, let's pause the scene once the menu is out. So new scene event, add an empty event. Okay. So here we go. Cursor touch is on cross add to exit. Parameter force of zero on x axis and minus with the on y axis. So once it's on cross, add an action. The time scale um middle layers time scale here go change layers time scale layer base layer um scale zero okay I just copy that and paste that here so push and touch is on no. We set the times the time the layer back to one is this scale one is a default, two is two times faster, zero point five is two times slower. So that's how it works. So one is the default, so it changes it back to one preview. So here we go, close. Um, exit. As you can see, everything pauses. This is normal moving. No, keeps starts moving again. Close pauses. No, starts moving again. Close. Let's go. Yes, so that's all for um, the force. That's how to create this a pop up menu using force. So now let's create a pop up menu using the twin behavior. Um, let's go back to our menu. And we just need to add in some objects. Let's add a new object. Sprite, add an animation, add. Let's add in a panel. And name this panel 2. Apply. Add a new object. Add a text. Display as are you sure? Bold, and I'll just name that sure. Apply, add a new object, create a sprite, add an animation, create the object. So we need to pull in yes. Okay, yes. 
apply, add a new object, sprite, add an animation, add mirror. Object name, mirror, apply. So let's position this in our scene. Okay, panel 2, put it into the scene. This um, X position 279. Y position um, 620. Show text X position 365. Y position 662. Yes text, um, yes, yes object, X position 344, Y position 718. No text, no object, sorry. X position 344, Y position 827. So there we go. Now let's do just a twin behavior. Add a new object, edit object behaviors, add a behavior. Sorry, delete this. Okay, add a behavior. Here we go. Swing. There's nothing to configure for these behaviors, so just apply. Do the same for the shirt behaviors. Add a behavior. Swing. Apply. Do the same for the yes, edit object behaviors. Add behavior, swing, yes, apply, do the same for the no, add an ob edit object, behavior, add behavior, swing, and apply. So we have this all on our object which we will be using for the swing. So let's go to our menu events, add a new group. I'll just rename this to so rename this to screen. Okay, it is outside, not in the same movement, same movement. So minimize this and between add an add a sub condition of add a condition scene variable value of a scene variable variable up sign of first is equal to values compared to okay so once this is the same variable is equal to add a condition position which would be the y compared to y position of an object compared to y position of panel sign of first panel is less than values compared minus 337 okay this is the white position panel is less than minus 337. Add a condition trigger once while wow, true. Okay, add an action between now we need to get a twin position, twin which is a white position. Add an object white position. Um, Add object position Y twin. So we will be using the object that is panel 2. So no, this will not work without if you don't attach the twin behavior to it. An object will not twin if you don't add the twin behavior to it. So twin identifier um, pop up underscore pop up game underscore exit. So Y position um, 120 easing. So I'm using the easing sign. Easing sign duration 1000. Destroy the object once we finish it. No. Okay. So same, we need to do this for all other effects, for all other objects. So just paste, 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 and change the values. 
So y position of object yes. Any change to y position two hundred and eighteen. So the y position of between the y position of no to the y position to three hundred and twenty seven. In the y position of sure to one hundred and sixty two. Also, add an action activate. Activate the behavior or um, activate a behavior which is a scene on um which is a scene movement on our panel object no okay we'll just copy this because we need to do this for quit and play so activate behavior side movement on object play no on object quit no so preview Here we go, quit, it goes up, it comes this out. So that's it. Now let's add an object. So once uh, let's add an event so once the no um, object is pressed, which is this, it goes back down and brings back the menu. So it brings back our our play menu, which is our first menu close. So now add an empty event. Add condition cursor a touch is on an object cursor touch is on an object cursor touch is on no yeah um add a condition release that small button was released add a condition three go ones while through Three go ones. Okay, now add an action between the Y position. Here we go. Add object position Y twin. So panel to object twin behavior twin identifier pop up on the school. Pop up again. I'll just go ex exit two. So y position six hundred and twenty. Easy ease in sign. So there are many um there are a lot of easings here. So you can just choose whichever you like. Um. Okay. So duration one thousand. Do this for um, all the objects. So paste, paste, and paste. So for no, so in the y position of object, no to the y position of 827. So um, once once cursor touch is on no, um, it would move. Root to in the white position of this, which is the panel to no, also um, yes, and sure. So we're turning it downwards, which it will try to take it out of the screen. So that's why I'm positioning this at a value which is um, beyond the screen's limit. So for yes, so that's 700. And eighteen and for the show text, so that's six hundred and sixty two. So you see the total height of our screen um properties. So go, as you can see the height is six hundred and this is these are all above the values here are uh, above six hundred 
that's because we want it to be outside the screen and not in the screen. So preview. So there we go. Quick. Are you sure? No. Okay, so close there. Um, okay, so as you can see, um, that worked now. Um, we need this. So once this goes back down, we need our menu to come back up. So add an action, scene variable, value of a scene variable, open this up, add a new variable, variable selection. Just in the selection, apply set to value one. Okay, so now add an empty event. We go add a condition, scene variable, value of the scene variable, selection, semi test is equal to maximum one. Okay. Um, variable selection. Using variable selection is equals to one at a condition between between is finished playing the twin on no or just use this object no twin identifier pop pop up underscore game underscore exit two so this is finished Plain add a condition three go ones well true okay then activate this behavior copy paste paste and paste activate the behavior yes same here activate the behavior yes and there we go yes so preview So go quick. This comes up now. No, or this comes up. Okay, so this is not right. Close down. Okay, here's a mistake. Made a mistake right here. Panel and quick. Okay, so preview. No quit. No. So there we go. Um, that works. Um, close now. Let's make the yes button um useful. There we go. Close. So add an empty effect. On the tool. Add a condition. Close up. A touch is on an object because a touch is on yes okay and add condition released mouse button released left okay now add an action quit the game so we'll quit the game once um, the cursor touch is in yes or left mouse button was released. So let's go back to our menu and preview. So there we go. Um, play. It goes up. It changes to this scene. Here we go. Click on close. This pops up. What person passes the scene behind it? Um, exit to main menu. No, it goes back down. Click on that, it pops up. No, click on that, and yes, you go quit. Here's a sign movement, and this is the swing behavior. Yes, so now, um, so that's how it's done. That's how to create a pop up menu in Cheval 5. I'm sure the um, mini more functions and behaviors to do this um but just selected a few of them so 
um, I would really love if you can tell me which was your best, which of the um, methods was, or which, which of the method um, suits you best. Okay, so that's how it's done. Um, well, that's how to create a pop up menu, which is well defined. Thanks for watching, and thank you for 2000.